So I'm Ian. I'm Dane. And this is the Hawaii Wildlife Fund Discovery Center. So the Hawaii Wildlife Fund is a nonprofit, an environmental nonprofit based here on Maui and on the Big Island. And this Discovery Center is kind of our attempt to educate the public and also pull the public in on environmental protection. So we have 5,000 square feet here with information on marine life and marine debris. We have an immersion room, this is everybody's favorite part. Awesome immersion room, super cool. 3D pro three projectors, That's very cool. Really So science and art merging together. We have a lot of beautiful photography by a lot of very talented photographers throughout. Sweet. And this area kind of dips more into pollutants, microplastics, which are a big concern of ours. Videos on it, and then all of our reclaimed plastics, which we have a ton of, we can turn into art. And do you guys collect those consistently, or is that just so a haphazard thing? from Hawaii, yeah. This is yeah. all mostly from Maui or from the Big Island. It's all from our beaches. It's strained, it's clean, and then artists make art out of it. But Sweet. to answer your question, yeah, we do a lot of beach cleanups. Yeah. Sweet. And Sweet. we do a lot of turtle nest walks as well. Right. Because that was what you guys were birthed from, right? Turtle monitoring yeah, and stuff? And it's, and it's still mostly what we do. This, well, this is a very important part of our, our educational side, our bringing the public inside. We still are primarily an environmental nonprofit. So we're doing disentanglements for animals, we're doing beach cleanups, we're doing nest watches, things like that. Sweet. And then just more beautiful art all the way out to the gallery. And the gallery down here is also what we use this day. And, and how, how frequently do you guys rotate the art? Is it all the time or infrequently? So most of it we just kind of keep all the time. Every once in a while we have new artists come through. Okay. But right now I think it's kind of in the boat because of the fire burning now, so we're switching to being more education focused and also more focused on, on education of the kids who are still here. Okay. So we have like the Kula immersion crews coming here every week and other... Which is a groups. Hawaiian language immersion yeah. uh, 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 school, right? Yeah, pretty much all about speaking in fluent Hawaiian. Yeah. And that's, yeah, it's a whole place. It's a whole place. Sweet. And then how many people um, do you guys... So you guys opened two years ago in the oh, pandemic yeah. or, or sort of yeah, pandemic so time. Yeah, delayed us. Yeah, we were supposed to open earlier. And do, does Whalers Village give you guys a, 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 a cut, or I mean, I mean a cut, that's all right, a, a, a reduced rate in terms of your... I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, I'm okay. Sorry. Okay, so we're in Whalers Village, a big tourist area. Yeah. Uh, how many people come on a year or a month, or that's like sort of rough idea? So it varies pretty wildly. We can't really say very easily right now because we have a pandemic. Right. And then we had almost some normalcy, and then we had a massive fire. fire that destroyed right. the island. So right now, I would say our numbers are pretty severely down. But again, we are trying to transition more into education, especially education of our our local kids, our local population. So it's kind of like we're not really keeping track as closely of, of day to day. Totally, totally. And so, and so, have you guys seen like in the wake of the fires? Have you guys seen more families coming in, or not so much, yeah, or what? So so I would say, especially after fires, it's been a lot more local families uh -huh. and a lot less tourists. I think it's it's two things. It's both we just had a way down on tourist population until right. the since just came back, right. and then also our local population is getting more and more aware of the fact that we're here. So really cool. trying to put the word out. That and do you guys have? Like, uh, like you know, so you guys are open nine to three every day, so people come to visit Maui. They should come here. But um, do you guys have like evening events and things of that yeah, nature? Sometimes. So we, so we used to, we used to be open longer, longer days, but we cut down our hours to be open. Just kind of the next, it was usually pretty dead here in the evening at the night. But we, we will open later or stay open later for for events and things that happen here. Cool. Yeah, like kid art programs yeah. or adult. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then okay. we have on Fridays, we have Uncle Uncle Uncle. Yeah, Uncle Ron works with Playlist Village. He does ukulele lessons and hat weaving. And sometimes when, when he gets to be in here, we get to have him, but he's also just down with the Whalers a lot too. So. Sweet. All right, so we're going to see you guys on Monday, but if uh, anybody else is watching this, they can come normally 9 to 3 most days and see you guys in Whalers Village in Maui. All right. All week. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Awesome.